And now with a preview of tonight's game and a look at what's happening at the ballpark, it's time for the Ameren, Illinois, and ActonEnergy.com pregame show. Let's send it down to the field and check in with the voice of the Chiefs, Nathan Boliva. Thank you, Brendan, and welcome to our pregame show presented by Ameren and KidsActonEnergy.com. Down in front of our dugout today, we got our PeoriaMagazines.com interview. Shaking it up today instead of having our player of the game or one of our Chiefs players, we bring back one of Peoria's own, Sean Livingston. How you doing today? I'm great. I'm great. Peoria, how you doing? Great to have Sean back. The uh, nice ovation. Always nice to be back in Peoria for you, isn't it? Absolutely. I love coming back. That's where I'm from. See family, friends, and uh, I'm happy to be back. And the, uh, the newest uh, Golden State Warriors. So that's got a nice sound to it, too, doesn't it? That's right. Going back out to Cali. Going back out to Cali, having some fun out there. And uh, I got to imagine from what you've, uh, you've been doing, guarding guys like Steph Curry and, uh, and Clay Thompson, chasing them all over, it's going to be nice to be uh, playing with them, not have to chase them around. And uh, now when the threes go in, they're good for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm rooting for them now, you know. <laughs> uh, those guys are tough covers. I'm happy to, you know, happy to play with those guys, great teammates. I've already talked with them, and uh, I'm looking forward to joining the family. A lot of fun to watch those guys shoot. Now you'll be right there with them, uh, with you. A, f a fantastic year out in uh, Brooklyn. And uh, it seemed like it was a lot of fun for you. And I know you guys didn't go I as far as you wanted to in the playoffs, but a, a fantastic season and a lot to be proud of. Yeah, I had a good year. Uh, you know, started with being healthy. And, um, you know, I was excited just to get a chance to play with all those Hall of Famers. Uh, you know, a lot of TV games. So, you know, my folks back in Peoria can <laughs> check, check us out. And, uh, you know, a great year. Wish we could have went a little further uh, to, the, to the ring, but we had a solid year. TV games, those are always nice for you guys, right? The national TV games. Always. I got to have fun with those, the uh, ESPN or wherever you're going. Now, tonight you got the Sean Livingston Foundation set up. I know you got a, a guy, Austin, out here to throw out a first pitch with you. You're going to be up signing autographs. Tell us more about the Sean Livingston Foundation and, and what you're doing to give back. Yeah, we're just, you know, we're just trying to give back to the community. Uh, you know, coming up, growing up in Peoria, you know, I, I looked up to professional players. Uh, coming to the Chiefs game would have been, you know, the, the, the highlight of my year. So, you know, coming back and, and giving back to the kids and providing opportunities, uh, working with different community centers here, here in the city, uh, it, it's an honor. So we're going to have you up uh, actually right up there on first base signing autographs, a bunch of different things, and uh, the money all goes to, uh, to that foundation. Yes, sir. We're excited. We also have the tennis ball toss, so we got that selling the uh, tennis ball toss. Go up and buy those next to the Pete Vinokin statue. Uh, six tennis balls for five bucks, a chance to win many prizes after the game, and all of that money goes to the uh, foundation as well. So a lot going on, and I know you had a, what, you had a big camp a week or two ago. You had a big dinner uh, here in town a couple, uh, couple months ago. What's it been like being back here and, and just interacting with fans and, and talking with them? Yeah, the kids, you know, we had a free camp for the kids. It was about... About 300 to 400 kids actually came out, uh, you know, and participated in the camp. And it was a free camp that we put on. Um, it was just an amazing experience. Interact with the kids, the parents, um, you know, just to see the kids and the impact that you have on them. Uh, it, it's amazing, and hopefully we can continue to give back. Now, with you, can you believe that it's been 10 years since you were drafted, 2004? No way. <laughs> no way at all. You look back 10 years ago, what advice would you give 2014 Sean Livingston, give to 2004 Sean Livingston? Be patient. Be patient, because there was a lot, of, a lot of trials and tribulations going through the career, but I'm still here, still fighting, and uh, still going. Obviously, the, uh, the draft rules are a little different than they were 10 years ago, but when you talk to these kids, and I know you go into to schools here in Peoria and, and, and do so, whatever you guys are playing, and part of the whole NBA program, what do you tell the kids there when uh, they're going such – slow odds to get, first of all, a college scholarship, then second of all, to get drafted and to latch on with an NBA team. What do you tell those kids? Well, it starts with the dreams. You have to dream big. You have to believe in yourself. And uh, obviously, you know, education is so important nowadays. I mean, I, I went from high school to the NBA, but, you know, now you have to go to college. And, I mean, you have to have the grades to be able to be eligible to go to college. So, uh, you know, staying focused, being confident in yourself, and, and always dream big. You know, set goals for yourself. When you were back in uh, junior high, high school, did you have any, uh, any baseball skills, too? I had a few. You had a, you had a few? So I, I know you threw out a first pitch with us here right after you got drafted. I was, I was here back in 0304, so you threw out the first pitch then. Did I make it to the plate? I'm pretty sure you made it to the plate. 
If we still had a VHS, we probably got that on tape. So. Oh, oh, <laughs> but I don't, I don't think, well, no, I was here too. So I'm just saying my first broadcasts are on cassettes from up here. So, um, But if we have that going, so today you're going to pass off the first pitch. Yes, sir. We have uh, my brother Austin June coming, coming to the mound to do the first pitch today. I'm in the boot, so he's going to hold it down for me. What kind of advice do you give him as he goes out there to throw out the first pitch to these guys? Just make it there. Just, just make it there? What, what's worse, bouncing it or air mailing? Oh, man, I've seen some rough ones. Probably, probably the bounce, the roll, the, when it rolls all the way there, that's probably the worst. That's the worst. So he's got to make sure he at least gets it right around the 60 feet mark. Yeah, I'm confident in him. All right, you give him some, uh, give him some tips and, uh, and make sure that he gets it there. Make sure he gets some practice in. No, he's ready to go. And then you're ready to sign some autographs. You'll be up there uh, right up, let's see, what, behind section 105, 106, right up there. You'll be signing some autographs. And we got, uh, what did you guys bring, some pictures and some, uh, some mini balls? Yep, and some jerseys. We got some jerseys too, nice. So we'll get that uh, in the range. All the money goes to the Sean Livingston Foundation and uh, it's been a pleasure to watch you play for the last 10 years and uh, everything you've gone through and come back from, you make Peoria proud every time we see you. And uh, hopefully we'll get a whole lot of Golden State games on TV back here in Central Illinois this year. I hope so. Hopefully, hopefully they can stay up that late. We'll see. We'll, we'll stay up that late. We'll be, we'll be watching you get those passes and, uh, and off the curry and the, and the guys inside. Good luck to you this year. Thanks for being back here and joining us. We appreciate it. All right, thank you. Thank you, Sean Livingston. That's a big hand for Peoria's own Sean Livingston being out here tonight with the Sean Livingston Foundation and everything he does to give back to the community. Make sure you go up there, buy those tennis balls, six of them for $5. You'll have a chance to win prizes out here on the hula hoops, a chance to win golf from Weaver Ridge as well, and a TV out in the center field where we'll have the tarp, so a chance to win all those prizes if you go out there and buy the tennis balls. Sean will be up signing autographs. They'll make an announcement over the PA when he's ready to go with that. So you can get up there, get in line, and uh, spend the money to get the great autograph and help out the Sean Livingston Foundation. Also tonight, the Superstars are here. They will be here entertaining throughout the night. They've got a lot of fun planned. I overheard the uh, game plan as they were upstairs going through it with our production crew. They're going to have a lot of fun out here on the field tonight with the Superstars and everything that they've got going on throughout the night. So you'll enjoy that entertainment here during the game. Tomorrow is a rare Sunday night game for us. That means there's fireworks after the game tomorrow presented by SefQ. The first thousand kids 12 and under get a kid's lunch back courtesy of the Children's Hospital of Illinois. At five o'clock, kids can play catch with the parents on the field tomorrow, then our players will sign autographs at 515 right here in front of the Chiefs dugout. The first 1,000 fans will get a Justin Ringo poster courtesy of the Peoria Journal Star. That's the giveaway for tomorrow. Kids 12 and under, $5 ticket courtesy of PNC. Get some free hot dog, free bag of chips, and a free soda as well. Then on Monday, it's an 11 a.m. game. It's half price tickets. We've got the Super Splash Day as well. Everything going on here for Monday with the 11 a.m. game. Huge thanks tonight to Budweiser for bringing in Sean Livingston with the Sean Livingston Foundation. Also the Jason Mott bobbleheads that were given out to the first thousand fans. Brewers distributing and Budweiser bringing all of that to you this evening with superstars here as well. Go buy those tennis balls. Chance to win some big prizes after the game, raise some money as well for the Sean Livingston Foundation. We thank you for being with us here on this Saturday night at Dozer Park.